going to talk about engineering again. This is engineering day three. Today we'll talk about bridges. And there are several different kinds of bridges with all kinds of variations, but we're going to talk basically about bridges and then we're going to construct out of Legos a suspension bridge. So, the most basic kinds of bridges are beam bridges. That's just like one piece of something crossing over from two sides over, say, a little creek or a small river or a gorge. And for example, you could make a bridge out of this box right here. It just has to be, you might have two sides, you might have a river running underneath, right? And there's your bridge. You can walk over it. If it's big enough, you can drive over it. So that's a beam bridge. Here's a picture as you see the water down below. Then we have also fairly simple, but more reinforced is an arch bridge. Notice the arch underneath. And that gives support so that you can make it longer, you can make it wider and heavier. So, for example, here's the Duplo that is actual, actually an arch bridge. See, it's, a, it's more complicated than the beam because it has this arch here and it has more strength. If you study arches, you'll understand. And then, truss bridges. I think of that as often for like railroad cars, trains to run across. So, the reinforcing comes with these different bars. So today we'll talk more about an exciting bridge called the Suspension Bridge. For example, if you've seen pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge in California, that's a suspension bridge in San Francisco. A very world famous one. So the Suspension Bridge, here, here's two towers. There might be more than two if it's a long bridge. And then the deck is here where the cars or the people or the bicycles will go. The deck. And then it's got piers that go down deep past the water down below because it's taking all that weight and it's transferring it down to the bedrock, as we say, the rock down of the earth so that it doesn't fall over and get pushed around. Over here you have the anchorage. It has to be anchored on each side. And then the piers that go down underneath the water, the deck, where you run the cars or the people, and the tower. And then you have these metal, of course we can create it with just like uh, twine, um, suspending it. So, there's another look at it. And I'll show you how you can do it with Duplos. So, let's pretend that our Duplo pad, you wouldn't have to have one of these, but it's easier that way, um, is the water. I'm gonna put it right here, and then, these are the piers to hold up. Um, and now let me think about the distance I need for my piers. Let's see. I've got some of these. I want to come across here. These larger Duplos across there. So I think I'm going to move it in just a little bit more. One on each side so that I can have it come together. Yeah. Okay, so here are the piers, and remember the piers are gonna go down deep underwater, and you can look at PPS bridges for all kinds of stories about really cool bridges of all different kinds. PPS bridges. So, I created these piers. See, I just put, I just did it like this. I would put a piece like that, and then another piece like that, and then to reinforce it, I did it the opposite direction backwards and forwards, different directions. And then, to, to create that, what we call here the deck, I put these bigger pieces, longer pieces of Duplos, leaving one on the end so that we can have some roadway going on each side, and more long ones. And then, That one's even longer, interesting. So, to hold them, I, uh, with, with the Duplos, you can use these little Duplos to hold underneath. It fits under like that on one side, and it holds it there. 
so that it's going to make it across. Move this one over just one. There we go. And then there it is held underneath. There we go. And then um, I'm going to move this one this way, just one. how I put a block in here you can replace it with one of the bigger ones too if you want and notice how because it's being held just underneath by these things it's not super super strong it could break if you put something really heavy on it which is why the suspension part coming from above helps to move that pressure all right so then you want to have your towers of course after you put an extension here's Here's the roadway extending out. I created towers the same ways as the piers, except I added a couple things on the top. There you go. And then you're gonna have your roadway heading out from the, the, the deck. And then over here you have the anchorage onto the ground on each side. And then um, again, I made a tower. Make the tower. Maybe I'll do, turn them this way. There we go. There we go. Tall towers. And then, if you want more roadway, you can certainly do that with these reinforcements underneath. So, because of these reinforcements, the, the most fragile part of the bridge is right here. So if you had more long pieces to run underneath, run along underneath to hold it, that would make it much stronger. But another way to make it stronger is to take with to take some twine and to have it hooked hooked on to this part as you can see up here they use metal and then it goes up the suspension part goes up from here to here and then that helps pull this up so that it can withstand the weight of the cars and trucks that go across it and also any different kinds of weather that happen. So I hope you enjoyed making the suspension bridge and you can do it of course with regular Legos that are much smaller and you could make even maybe more intricate things with your towers, your deck, your piers, and your anchorage. And then drive some cars across and have some people walk across your bridge. All right, thanks. <laughs>